YouTube, Jay Jones, Car Audio One, back again. Uh, I told you on the little update yesterday that I was going to get some zero gauge and it just came in today. I don't think it's actual zero gauge because it was so damn cheap. Uh, but we about to open it up and find out together and I'll let you know where I got it from. So you'll know to stay away from it if it's some bullshit. Excuse my language. So let's go ahead and get to this unboxing. Um, I'm going to have to do this, you know, like everybody else with one hand because I don't uh, know or I didn't open this before the video or no stuff like that. So just uh, let me set you down right here. Let me set you down right. Uh, no, I guess it's the back camera. Okay, I guess I can't set you down or something like that. So, I'm going to just set you down and you can't see what I'm doing. You just have to trust that I'm opening this package. So, try to do this as fast as possible. Uh, damn, these USPS envelopes ain't no punks though. Okay, we got her open. This envelope is going to be all smashed and messed up. I'm going to actually get in more props. They said they were shipping it in an envelope versus a box, so don't be surprised when it got here. And, uh, yeah, so, alright. So now we got the heat, sh well, not the heat shrink. This is the uh, heirloom or the loom that goes over the wire, and I can already tell by the size of this right now that this ain't no zero gauge. Um, it's straight up silver. You see them two or three copper threads on the outside you know this was to be expected because this was a cheap kit this was under thirty dollars so but as far as the wire goes it does look like it's got a decent amount it looks like some true four gauge to be honest with you true four gauge which is about what i was expecting um for as cheap as this kit was this is a full kit i got three feet of um of ground wire i got the the loom of course and um, here in this little bag, we have, uh, you know, your cheap terminals and um, the little uh, booties that go over the ends for the positive and the negative. And on this kit, I don't understand, they only give you four, but you're going to actually need six because you need four on the, on the, um, you need four on the, on the positive cord alone. So why, you know, I don't understand their logic there, but that's here nor there. Um. It says 200 amp, which it looks a lot nicer in person than it did on the internet. It's cheap. Don't get it nowhere where he can get to it, because I'll tell you, it'll be a wrap real quick. Um, but it's a 200 amp a &L fuse, supposedly. I hope it's 200. So that's nice. I was definitely needing one of those. And uh, I guess he wasn't done cutting. Hold on, guys. Okay, in all of this we have um, some RCAs, I'm trying to stay on camera here, just got this tied pretty, pretty tight here, thought I was just going to be able to tear all this apart, but uh, no. So uh, this is just um, some speaker wire, some RCAs, and uh, 25 feet of positive, supposedly. Um, really, I just wanted to get a look see on that uh on this straight up copper now the site didn't say whether it was copper clad aluminum or you know o f c or whatnot or none of that good stuff so um yeah, this don't look like twenty five or eighteen feet this is supposed to be eighteen feet of i guess it is. Again, as you guys can see here, uh, it's the same old cheap um, actually, no, it doesn't. This is straight looks like silver to me. I say it's a true four gauge. It's not a true zero gauge, but it's gonna do for what I needed to do. I just need to get another run going to the back, whether it was four or zero, so. Um, like you can see on here, it says zero gauge. Zero gauge. Yeah, right. Um, thanks, guys, for stopping by and checking me out. <laughs> I appreciate the thumbs up. I'm getting happier. You know what I'm saying? It's basically all I got to do now is take the speaker box out there, 
throw it in the trunk and mount a couple amps and we bang it. So, uh, you know, it's going to take me a little while. Like I said, I'm going to go out of town. Oh, also you had remote wire. I don't know if I said that or not. You got remote wire taped up in there as well, 18 feet of that as well. Um, 12 feet of speaker wire. Then you got had, uh, I can't remember, I think it was 17 or 18 feet RCAs. I'm not sure, but we'll figure all that out here in a second once I get it all unwound and uh, take some measurements to make sure that they gave me what I paid for. So I appreciate you guys checking me out. Later.